Hi everyone, so today I'm here to share with you a modular home update, um, our experience with the whole thing, the company we use. I'm just here to ask every single one of your questions because there has been a lot. So if you are interested in this video, then keep watching. And then hit that subscribe button down below and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the video. So most of these questions have come from my video called Modular Home Tour After Delivery. With us, we didn't have that large of a budget and we were also in a rush to get into a home. We were living with our in-laws and it just wasn't an ideal situation for us and our daughter and our dogs. It was just, we were living too small and we were just ready to get out and have like our own stuff. That's where the main issue was, is not to rush into it, to do your research if you're going to go the modular home route. So there's modular home and there's stick built home. Those are usually the two that you can pair when you're thinking about building your um, house. So the two, the modular home structure wise is supposed to be exactly like the stick built home. However, it is built in like half the time. And I can speak from experience that it definitely took half the time, even less because my, one of my coworkers started the process of building a home, same square footage. I think ours might've been a little bit bigger and she started a month before we did and we finished in March. She didn't finish until after Thanksgiving. So if that tells you anything, so that's a huge difference. However, her house is probably more structurally sound. The stick built homes, you can sell them for a higher value than a modular home, even though a modular home is like a stick built. In our experience, it's sold like a manufactured home, aka a trailer or something like that. The most, the biggest question that you guys have asked is how much did it cost? So the modular homes, you look on their website, you go talk to the dealer, and they give you the price of the home. That's just for literally the house, that is it. That's not the structure, that's not preparing the land, that's not the driveway, that's not the septic, the energy, um, if you have to put in a water well, which we did. Uh, it's not considering any of those things. So with that said, our house was $156,000 for just the home. And for our driveway, it was about fifteen. dollars we had a really long driveway though, so um, it was about $15,000. For our septic, it was $5,000 plumbing to do electrical to the house. Um, it was energy, since we had so many trees, we couldn't do the poles. We had to do a huge transformer where they had to bur burrow under the ground up the hill to our home. And that ended up being over $5,000 for that, plus the electrician that had to hook up from the where the energy where energy put their pull up or their transformer up to the house that cost another five thousand dollars water well was five thousand dollars and putting the foundation down was about five thousand so yeah it's a huge chunk looking at it now it would have been the exact same price to build a stick built home however we wouldn't have gotten the upgrades that we wanted like the size kitchen or it wouldn't have looked as nice as what we got if that makes sense. So the second most asked question that we've gotten, who did we purchase the home for, from? So we went with Greg Tilly's in Shreveport and for our, who we bought the house through and then Platinum Homes is the, per, the builder that we went with. Would not recommend either of them. Both of them are, well, Platinum isn't, they're not liars or shady, they kind of own their stuff, but they just take forever to, um, fix the problem. Greg Tilly, they're very shady. They hide behind the whole Christian um, belief system and being good people. They're horrible people. They're very shady. They literally delete reviews. That's why you can't find any reviews on, about them online. So that's one tip for you. If you cannot find any reviews on your builder or dealer, red flag, do not use them. Do not go anywhere near them. That was the problem with us. I just felt like maybe they don't have that much business that they don't have, like a lot of people aren't, don't know about modular homes. So there's not that many um, reviews out there. Ignorant. Literally they sell over 50 homes a month. That's what they told us. So that was a huge red flag. But working at, with Greg Tilly's, the people, we went to the one in Shreveport because it was closest to us. The reason we chose them was because they had a showroom where you could walk around the houses when you want to, they were open on the weekend so we could go see them. And um, within 150 miles, they would deliver for free. Normally the delivery fee is 8,000 some odd dollars to deliver um, a modular home pieces to your house or to your location. 
But Greg Tilly said lied a lot of stuff on the contract. They write in shorthand so that they can trick you. Like, whenever they're writing in a shorthand, it makes sense to you because you're reading it like, okay, yeah, I get what you're trying to say. But then they interpret it a different way so they don't have to do it. They'll tell you that you can have this and this and this for no extra cost. And later on, they're like, mm, sorry. For example, um, our floors. We wanted to have hand laid tiles throughout, and he assured us that we could have that without any extra cost. Well, he comes back and he's like, hey, so it's actually going to be $5,000 extra dollars to lay the tile that you want. It's not included. And we're like, Err. look at the contract. I'll scan it and send it to you just in case you lost it. It says, at no extra charge, hand laid tile throughout. And he was like, no, what it, I meant to say was that hand laid looking tile, like a sheet of laminate flooring throughout the entire house. No, no. <laughs> Um, we almost actually sued them over it, and there was a big, a huge thing between us and them. And finally, they backed down to that they would provide the flooring if we would hire somebody to lay the floor. Um, so, thank God Garrett's dad is a furniture salesman, and he sells flooring, and he has a flooring guy that we were able to do that at not much cost to us. So, it ended up being okay, but it's not okay that they lied. The other thing to be careful when you go there, if you do decide to choose them, one, record every conversation you have, two, have them sign everything um, and have them write it out clearly. I don't care if you have to make them write it out 50 billion times on a piece of paper, they need to write it out. It all needs to be on one document. It can't have like a bunch of different papers because that gets confusing and they can dispute it. The other thing is whenever you go there, there's going to be like a line of salesmen waiting for you to talk to you. And whoever you talk to first, you're stuck with them. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. They, like, for our, in our case, there was this guy, Jimmy Keel. He was the one we first started talking to. We made a few trips up there, and we're trying to get information from him. But he was so stupid, he doesn't know anything about modular homes. He, he really doesn't. And he, I could tell he kept trying to lie to me because I've done my own research as well. But the main thing that I didn't like about him is that he was very sexist. He did not want to talk to me. He kept talking over me to my husband while he's over there soothing our daughter who's crying. He, like, refused to talk to me. And then when we finally said, well, we're not going to make a decision today. We're going to go home and talk about it. Literally mid-talking, he walks away and starts talking to another customer behind us trying to sell them a modular home. Like, we weren't important anymore. So at that point, I told him, I was like, okay, we'll still use your company, but we are not working with him. And they kept trying to push me towards him. I was like, it is not going to happen. I will go to another company and I will be completely done with you guys if you make us work with him. So then we were assigned to a man called Tim Glisson, who is an uber moron. <laughs> he is so stupid. Like literally, he writes emails like a one-year-old and he knows nothing about the modular homes or manufactured homes. He doesn't know anything about regulations or what you need to do or any of the steps. And he's the one who did the shorthand chicken scratch on our contracts and tried to like flip everything. But after we had signed the contract and everything was said and done that we could work with him only, we find out that he's the middleman for Jimmy Keel because they still want to keep that. Um, since he talked to us for a total of five minutes, he was going to be our agent and there's nothing we could do about it. Yeah. And the person that decided all this was the manager, Kurt don't know his last name. It's either Kurt or Kirk. Anyways, he's a tall guy. And he's more knowledgeable on the houses. He's also a liar too. I'll get to that in a second. But pretty much if you're going to do a modular home, the best thing you can do, do not use the bank that the dealer recommends. Use your own bank. For the company that you're buying from, they don't get a cent until you close with your bank. When they get the house from the builder, they're putting up their own money and holding onto that, onto your house, and they have to pay for it until your bank closes on it where you can pay them. And that was the best thing because I can tell you and promise you that after hearing stories and talking to more people and different contractors that they sent out and workers and how people have been screwed over in the past from using Greg Tilly's company, that that was the only way we could hold anything over them where they had to finish their job. 
because there were so many instances and so many stories of them not finishing people's houses and like refusing it like years and years go by and they keep promising oh we're gonna send somebody out there you know we just have to make wait till you're on rotation and we have somebody in the area to come fix your problem and they just never do it or they quit answering your phone calls so once we got done with Tilly's um, and you have to work with them until they come deliver the house put it up on blocks seam it up and make it where it's livable and then you start working with your builder so our builder was Platinum Homes I wouldn't recommend them yes they're faster um, but they're faster because they use hot glue use a hot glue gun to glue your tile onto your counters onto your backsplash around your tub they use hot glue yes and also they are located in Alabama if you live in Alabama then that's great they're right there they can they have no excuse not to come fix whatever issues you may have uh, if it's a more severe issue then they'll come in and fix it but they were great at the beginning like we had a few contractors that came in that were just awesome they were willing to get the work done they like to chat they really like to chat and sit down and hang out while things are doing whatever but there was the first problem they had put um, something in the wall for plumbing backwards so water wasn't going through the faucet it was going in the walls and so they had to come back and fix that whoever on the assembly line just like turned it the way they described it like literally so many mistakes happen because it's, your house is going through an assembly line and people are just throwing stuff that makes no sense to me because if there's one person all day all week all month putting in that one plumbing piece they should get it right it should not be an excuse to that they get it wrong so apparently this is very common um, our insulation in our attic the way they designed the roof and where they put the vents it didn't insulate well so we had a lot of roof leaks they had to repair a lot of the ceiling um, when they placed the house they didn't place the house level so there's a lot of spots where if you put a ball like it roll and it just like kind of go into like a little dip um, or just roll all the way down our house came in three sections it was a it was considered a triple wide so the front the front and the middle section were done really well it was the back section that was like all wonky all the windows were off the doors were off and there was nothing they could do about it because once they set it and because once they set it and seam it up there's nothing they can do about it so I would watch the crew that sets up your house and levels it walk in there and make sure everything is level before you let them leave because as soon as they're done they're gone they're not gonna say hi bye You're, you will never see them again so those are the things about the builder and that was a really long explanation but that's why I couldn't just like message each and every one of you individually that because that's like a long long list and another thing I forgot to mention before about the cost is you have to buy your land you have to own your land to have a modular home um, so that's one thing ours was we built ours on family property so we didn't have to pay for land so that was really good for us but that is something you had to factor in too so that's the same with a stick built home and a modular home that's why I didn't mention it before was because it's the same either way so a lot of people are asking I think on I'll leave the link down below but you can go with any dealer any builder and use any layout you want it's gonna take more time if you don't if you pick something that they have on a list um, you can go to all their websites and they have a list of like all their different layouts you can pick any layout you want and they can build it it just takes longer if you pick what they have on their list then it's gonna take a lot less time because they apparently it makes more sense to them and another thing you can customize the houses so if you go into a showroom you're like man I really wish there's an extra bathroom here I wish the house was flipped I wish this window was over here you can change all that stuff I think it was like a five thousand dollars for an extra bathroom um, five thousand dollars for to add a chimney in there if it, the model didn't have a chimney um, something like that so you can change it they're all customizable any manufacturer or builder can build you anything you want you can find a layout online that you like like on Pinterest or have an architect draw something up and they will build it for you so a lot of you were confused you're thinking that you pick the layout from the builder no you pick the layout from the seller the dealer whatever ours is called Lux I'll leave the link to the layout down below the floor plan down below LUX is what it's called 
and I at first when we first saw the floor plan we hated it because it was so dark I didn't like the rooms were separated but the kitchen man the kitchen is what sold us at in the bathroom it just amazing they only had honestly our the place that we went they only had three modular floor plans and the rest were all trailers so and you can build any of the trailers to modular specs you can build any of the modulars to a trailer spec so there's that and another thing they promised us that if you get a modular home versus they kept calling it a hood they kept using short term with me and i wanted to kill them like oh it's a mod it's a hood it's a modular you're talking to someone who does not talk this every day modular like go to class or something like, like the people were so stupid at greg tilly's i can't even i can't even <sighs> Anyways, what else? Our first salesman, Jimmy Keel, he promised us and ensured us that if you build this house as a modular, any of the modulars that you buy, it will not sound like you're walking on a subfloor. Like, it, it, you can't hear the clumping that there's no bottom. Like, if you've ever walked on a floor like that, then you know what I'm talking about. And so we're like, okay, that's awesome. It'd be nice to not have, like, the sound of people walking through the house. Like, be, that'd be annoying. So that's one thing that we were so excited about. Oh no, our house is was so loud, so loud when you walk through there. When you're you're outside, you can hear just someone just walking across the floor. It was it was annoying. Um, I will say that. And it was just definitely you don't know that until after they finish the house. One thing about getting the house through platinum is that it comes with the refrigerator that you get to pick out, the sink you get to pick out, you can pick out your doors, your wall sconces, your um, handles. We chose to replace an even swap from having a microwave to having a vent. So that removed like multiple cabinets and a microwave. So we could just have one big beautiful vent over our stove. Um, you can pick the cabinets, the colors in each different room, the flooring in each different room. Um, it doesn't come with a washer and dryer. What else? It comes with an AC unit, the crappiest AC unit they, they can find, but an AC unit. It comes with curtains you get to pick i think there's like two or three options for curtains they did have a really good selection on paint however they don't paint your house in like valspar or bare paint they literally use the cheapest paint that you can find it feels horrible to touch it feels like chalk and it comes off on your hand all right so i had to change angles because my camera died and i have to have it plugged up into the wall so this doesn't bother you midway but um one thing too is if a lot of you're probably going to ask why don't you just have the house on the foundation that you poured? Which I thought that's what we were getting. Um, the way they worded everything and it made it sound like since there wasn't going to be any noise, that it was just going to go flat on the foundation. They were going to put it on blocks. There wasn't going to be a skirt. It's going to look exactly like a stick built home is how they sold it to us. Um, so you can do that. Apparently we didn't find out till after they delivered the house. And I'm like, why is it on modular blocks? Like what's going on? Like, oh, well that's going to be a $20,000 a day crane fee if you want to put the modular home on directly on the slab foundation that you poured so that was frustrating but I do know like the modular homes that you can't get in the south that you can get up north you can get ones with basements you can get multiple stories and things like that so maybe folks up north have better experience with it like the houses look incredible all right so next question was what are the dimensions of your house I'll leave all that information down below for you guys so you can go check out the actual house and whatever but whenever you're picking um, I said before that you can choose any layout whatever you want make sure if you want your house to look like a stick built house or you want it to look like my house where it looked bigger inside it wasn't like cramped down because a lot of trailers can make like the ceilings can be really low and it just looks like a trailer if you're gonna spend all that money you want it to look like a house you know because um, for our house, if we got the trailer version, um, then it would have knocked off over $60,000 just to have it built that way. You want to make sure that you have a raised roof, and a lot of the houses come with it like that. But if you're just using the floor plan, you still need to use the picture of the house that they have on their website so that you can see, so that the people building it know that you want a taller um you want to raise the ceiling height and you also want your roof to be taller too so it's not like a flat 
roof like there's actual pitch there so it looks like so it looks more like a typical home and it looks more expensive that way so modular the whole modular home thing sounds so good like too good to be true and we did so much research but with our company that we chose greg tilly's and the builders platinum homes is that we couldn't find reviews anywhere on them and come to find out that we have proof from a bunch of different people that they had left reviews but they just delete them how they haven't been sued or if they are actively being sued i don't know um it's just crazy that they can do what they do because they don't have to follow the same guidelines but my advice to you first thing if you're in between picking a stick built home and a modular home first thing I want you to do you need to find a contractor ask around don't just pick a random ask around in the grocery store friends people at church people at work people in the line at the movies anywhere anybody ask do you know a contractor or hey we're thinking about doing this just talk to people um and once you find get a contractor's name and number call them ask them what is the price per square foot to build a new home and they'll tell you ours was a hundred ten dollars i think per square foot to build a standard basic no frills basic house with the modular our house was 55 dollars a square foot so that's a huge difference so that really um that was the main reason that we made the decision that we did to go with a modular home if you have done that and you decide modular all the way 100 percent, do your research do your research if you don't find reviews don't go with that company if you feel like a little uneasy or like something else is going on if the hair little hair is going up on the back of your neck don't go with that company because you have to be very careful once you do choose the company that you go with, make sure that you have them write everything out fully. Do not let them do shorthand on contracts. Record your conversations. Um, let them know that you're recording them. Don't be kind of shady. You know, just let it out there. Like, I want to record it. Just make sure that we're all on the same page and we can't change anything later. Next thing, never take their first option. If never go in there be like oh i love this house i want this i want this i want this okay we're definitely going to do it it's so exciting and i have the biggest trouble with that go in acting coy kind of like mm, i could live with live without it you're going to ask for a piece of paper from your bank whoever you're going with and to see if you can actually afford the home so you're gonna have to give them that before they can even let you sign any contracts but they're fully aware that have a modular home you have to own the land so you have to pay for the land that's not in the contract that you're doing with them you have to pay for a driveway to go up to your house. Legally, you can't close on a house without a driveway. You're gonna have to have a walkway from the driveway to your front door. Legally, you have to have that. Um, you have to have septic put in. If you're lucky enough to live where you're, you can tie into an existing septic, city septic line, great. We had to put in our own septic system. Same with water. If you can hook up to your city's water, that's great. We had to put in a water well. Um, and energy, if you can just get energy out you don't have to pay for anything for energy um they'll put in a pole i think it's up to three poles they'll put in for free if you're a little bit further away from the road but with us we had so many trees and it was just a weird layout that we had to pay for them to burrow up to our house so we had to pay for that and then also you have to pay for the foundation for your house to sit on you have to pour a um, concrete slab but all that to say do not be afraid to try to negotiate it's like okay We'll do this, but can, can you throw in um, a fancier skirting? Can you throw in um, better flooring? Can you throw in this? Can you throw in that without any extra cost? And a lot of times they'll say yes um, if you have a good poker face, you know, because uh, they're furniture salesmen. I mean, modular home salesmen and manufactured home salesmen are just like car dealership salesmen, the typical furniture salesmen. All those people that make you feel really uncomfortable and like they're sharks just trying to swim and get the get their money and that you can't trust them you really cannot trust them i don't care how how they claim that they run their business like greg tilly's they are really big on we're christian we do this we take off on sundays we do this we do that we have the biggest love for god we want to spend the time with their families and they try to put on this look of being such good people that you can trust but you can't you just can't um so go in not trusting a soul, <laughs> you'll be good. And the other thing is to always make sure that you go with, that you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't 
So for example, um, they wanted us to use Greg Tilly's. They want us to use their financial group to do the loan through, uh, to do our mortgage through. They want to use their people to pour the slab, their people to do the foundation, their people to do the sewer, the water well, all that stuff. They want us to use their people, but something about that seemed a little fishy. So we didn't, and it worked out for us in the way that we got a lot more than a lot of people get using their company. We heard so many stories after we purchased the home and the home was there and they were working on it, how they promised things, and since you already paid them their money, they don't owe you anything. After, you, after money changes hands, any other agreement is null and void after that. So keep that in mind. So the last and final question, a lot of you wanted to know why we are no longer living in our modular home. Right now we are in our apartment. Um, we moved out for job reasons, not because of the home. We did not get full value for the house when we sold it. We were able to sell it though. Um, yeah, like we got it... A, we only lived in the house eight months. We got it appraised after, right before we moved in. It appraised for $10,000 more than it appraised for when we went to go sell it eight months later. Yeah, so there's that. And we had added a fenced in yard. We added lots of grass. Like we did some landscaping and stuff like that. And it just didn't appraise for the same amount. So if you're gonna do the modular route, make sure it's somewhere you're gonna stay, that you're gonna be there for a very long time. And that was our intention. But certain factors happened, life happened, and we were no longer able to live in that area anymore, um, job reasons. So we had to move in order to get jobs, make money, and survive. So all the horror stories that I heard from people using Platinum Homes and Greg Tilly's, that's in the South. Greg Tilly's is a Louisiana company. Actually, I think they might have a location in Jackson, Mississippi. Maybe Texas, I doubt it. Um but I would not go with them. They are very shady, very sneaky, and I feel like even if we would have done a lot of the things that I'm telling you to do, they would have found a way around it. Another thing I forgot to tell you that the manager called me, and then when they put the skirt on, it was the wrong color. In our contract, it said it was gonna be the exact color gray as the siding of the home, and it was like a white gray, and our home was like a dark gray. Huge contrast. Well, he claims that he talked to our loan officer our, who we were getting our mortgage through, and she wanted us, said that we had to get the cheaper version backing for our skirting for the house. So skirting is where, because the house is raised off the ground like a couple feet, and the skirting protects all the piping and all the wires and everything that is under your house and helps insulate a little bit. So it covers everything up. With our loan, it requires us to have metal backing that goes from house to the house to ground or house to the foundation, and it has to be reinforced with metal screws and a metal bracket frame that goes around the bottom. They took the shortcut and just put a really thin wood frame around the bottom with little wooden stakes, and he lied to us and claimed that she told him that that's the way that we had to go. I talked to her and. Little did he know that I have a good relationship with my loan officer and, and she's very credible. She's actually the head in Monroe of the mortgage group that we used. And she said, I've never talked to that man before. I've been trying to get a hold of him and I haven't talked to him. So he's lying. I'm sorry, but he's lying. One thing too is do not be do not get desperate. Know that you're gonna get your house in time. Know that if there are hiccups in the road where they promise you something. Do not say, whatever, okay, I give up, I want to be in this house, let it slide, do not do that. Take your time, you will get in your house in time, you're going to have some really hard days if you're living in a small air space like we were, if you didn't have working plumbing like we did, if you have mice invading where you're living and you have a baby and it's just like insane, you're fighting with your spouse a lot, just know that that will pass and you'll be in your home soon. Don't take any shortcuts. Guys, if you're gonna do modular homes, do you have to stay on top of them. Just like building a house, a stick built home, you have to stay on top of your contractor to make sure that they're building your house properly. My advice can only stem in Louisiana area because that's where I live and that's um, these are the people that I had to work with. From my area, there's like only two different groups that I could have chosen from. One, it cost $8,000 to deliver the house from like 
10 miles down the road and the other one was free for 150 miles so that's why we made that choice all right guys so those are all of your questions answered if you have any others um please leave them down below if you had more specific smaller questions i answered you individually but across the board these were the big questions that everybody was really wondering so anyways i will talk to you later if you have any other questions leave them down below and i'll get back to them and please help each other out if you have been through the modular home process and you love it, you love the company you work for, I haven't heard any of those stories yet, but if you have, whatever state, let people know what state you're in, the company you went through, the builder and everything down below, any advice that you have would be greatly appreciated because apparently this is a big thing. People are starting to want to branch out and do modular homes. So thank you so much for watching and being patient with me, and I will see you next time. Bye.